All right, we're going to take a uh, brief break from the briefing there. We'll get back to John Kirby in just a moment. For the meantime, Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State, is now speaking. We believe Joint Base Andrews. Let's listen. Uh, at the same time, uh, we anticipate there'll be further needs, further requests. We've already been working closely with Congress on this, and we look forward to continuing to do that to make sure that Israel has what it needs. Second, we will be reiterating, reaffirming the very strong message that President Biden has delivered to any country or any party that might try to take advantage of this situation. And that message is don't. The uh, President has deployed, as you know, uh, the world's largest aircraft carrier group to the region to make very clear our intent to deter anyone contemplating any further aggression uh, against Israel. Uh, finally, we're, of course, very focused on our own people, uh, our own citizens. We lost 22 Americans. That number could still go up, and it probably will. At the same time, we have a number of Americans who remain unaccounted. Uh, we are working very closely with the government of Israel to determine their whereabouts and if they have been taken hostage by Hamas uh, to work to secure their release. So all of these things are on the agenda over the next, uh, uh, the next day or so with Israel. But the main point is this. We stand with Israel. We'll continue to do so. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, yesterday Jake Sullivan said the U.S. officials were talking to the Israelis about getting civilian safe passage uh, through, uh, through Gaza into Egypt. Uh, today, John Kirby said they're still talking to the officials about this. Uh, what is the holdup? What's the obstacle to getting civilian safe passage out of Gaza? John, we are, we are talking about that. And we're talking to uh, Israel about that. We're talking to Egypt about that. Uh, it's an ongoing uh, conversation. I can't get into the details. Um, some of this is, needless to say, and understandably complicated. But we want to make sure, to the best of our ability, and I know Israel wants to make sure, to the best of its ability, that civilians uh, are not harmed. But uh, Israel has to take steps to defend itself. Uh, it has to make sure that uh, any ongoing threat is dealt with. Uh, and I believe it has to make sure that um, going forward, uh, what happened doesn't happen again. Is the issue more on the Israeli side or the Egypt side? I'm not going to get into the details, but it's an ongoing conversation. Uh, following up on that, um, in conversations between the U.S. and Israel, has the U.S. advocated any degree of restraint in terms of possible ground operations in Gaza, either for the sake of the civilians there or for the sake of uh, hostages in there? Well, again, I'm not getting into any of the operational details of what uh, Israel may uh, or, or may not do. I think you heard the president speak to this yesterday in his very, very strong and forceful comments. Um, and of course, what uh, separates Israel, the United States, and other democracies when it comes to incredibly difficult situations like this is our respect for international law uh, and, as appropriate, uh, the laws of war. Uh, we do everything we can to make sure that in these situations we avoid civilian casualties. That is in direct contrast uh, with uh, Hamas which uses uh, people as human shields. Uh, it um, actually seeks uh, to be, uh, put Palestinian civilians in situations uh, where they could be harmed. Uh, this is very much part of their, uh, part of their game plan. So uh, we, uh, we know that uh, Israel will take uh, all of the uh, precautions that, uh, that it can, just as we would. And again, that's what separates us uh, from Hamas and uh, terrorist groups that engage in the most heinous kind of, uh, kind of activities. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have a chance to talk later. Thank you. All right, you've been listening to Secretary of State Antony Blinken. He will now depart for Israel. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.